Hi everyone, it's Dasha Dave here again, back for another crafty video. So we're going to make one of these. So, well, something similar to this. So this is, it's got a polished enclosure um, here, which is all undone to save time. And then this, these are policy, got policy closures that here, and then it opens up and obviously ours will be finished, but this is my prototype. It will open up and it'll be like this, but this time we're going to make it with a spine to it that way then you don't get this gaping going on because all of those policy closures are all trying to vie for space so what we're going to need is you're going to need a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock okay or you can use file folder or anything you like but you know um you'll need to cut it to these specific measurements so we're going to cut it so that let's just see where the the glued edge is sometimes it leaves a gluey mark but it hasn't on this occasion so that's fine so if your paper has an orientation the longest measurement i'm going to give you is the tw which is the 12 inches is the top to bottom and then the shorter measurement is going to be the left to right. So you just need to bear that in mind that that's the orientation of the paper. So normally you, when you cut paper, the longer measurement is the one that's the, the, the sides. You're gonna need more than one piece of paper because you've got fold out bits. So um, we're going to cut it. So I'm gonna leave it at its full height, um, which is 12, um, but we're gonna cut this one down to eight and a quarter. Okay, so that's going to be eight and a quarter. I'm going to take that off and then we'll get our scoreboard in. So remember that this is the right orientation. So this will be, this is your, going to be, you know, your left and right side. So what we're going to do is we're going to score this at, so remember we've cut this at eight and a quarter. So we're going to score this at four first. And then we're going to score it at four and a quarter, which is there. Okay, and then we're going to turn it to the other orientation, and you're going to score it at two and a half. And we're just going to, to make it easier, we're just going to turn this around and do it the other way around, and we're going to do it again at two and a half. Okay, so that's our measurements, uh, sorry, our scores and measurements on there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put all of those folds in first before we do anything else. So fold that over and score that in. I've got a nice proper scoring tool going on here somewhere. So we're going to score that in. We're going to open that up. We're going to fold that over and do that. So it's got this box spine. So you just need to find that other crease and score it in. Okay, and then we're going to open that out, and then we're going to fold these top and bottom ones. So just folding on that crease. Turn it round. And fold it on that crease. Okay, so that's all your creases in. Now what you need to do is you just need to do some cutting. So the cutting is easy. All you're going to do is you're going to cut... Um, basically, you're going to cut like a, um, a tag shape. Um, cut off the top off the bottom and the top okay but what we're going to do so we're going to cut from we're going to go about a quarter of an inch in and cut to that fold line there so you can see that fold line so if I fold it like that hopefully it's easier for you to see I'm going to cut up to there and that's going to come off okay and we're going to do that on the middle bit as well so this is where that first fold is so you want to cut this one quarter of an inch in from that first fold to that that corner where the two folds meet the horizontal and the vertical fold and then we're going to do that the same again on this side okay and then you're going to snip that bit off okay so then we're going to take that out and then we're going to do the same again mirror of what the other side is doing on there okay and then we're going to turn that round and we're going to do the same on this side so up to that crease that fold up to that fold up to that fold and then 
that one off. In fact, it didn't go quite as steep on that one. Let's do that again. And we're going to snip that middle bit out. Okay, so that's all of our pieces cut out of that one. So this is going to be our top and bottom folds. We've got a box spine here and then our edges line up. Okay, so the box spine is just to take account of the policy closure. Okay, so then we need another piece of paper or card. And I've got two pieces out and I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use. I think I'm going to go with this. I think it stays in keeping with the the postmark things. Okay, and this one we need to cut down to... Sorry, just look at my measurements. My, so this is going to be six and a quarter. Um, so six and a quarter is going to be the height. And then you're going to cut it to four and a half um for the width of it so so six and a quarter is this bit so because the whole thing measures seven but you don't want it to be a full height top and bottom otherwise it'll interfere with these folds so we're going to go for six and a quarter either side and four and a quarter on the on this measurement here and we're going to we're going to score it at I'll come to the score lines in a minute um, because it, we'll just get confused otherwise. So what we need to do is we're cutting this. So you've just got to think about the orientation. So if you cut it to six and a quarter, so this this is the orientation I want it to to be. Six and a quarter, remember, is the top and the bottom. So you want to make sure that your your card is, if I cut it, so that it measures six and a quarter this way, then that's going to be the right orientation. If I did it this way and measured six and a quarter, then then the writing is going to be in the wrong flow. So you just need to, to make sure. So this line, you need to have it um, turned 90 degrees to the way that you're going to have it on the thing. To this, remember, this is the score line for the top to bottom. So, Cut, not score line, cut line. So we're going to cut that off, and then these are going to make our wings so they f turn flap in and out. So this the, this is going to be cut at four and a half, four and a half, and then we're going to cut this one at four and a half as well. And actually, I think we'll do it that way round. So four and a half. I don't I, actually I don't know why I did it like that because it might make much difference um, unless we're having it that way so uh, so so if I had them that way that bit's going to be folded over and you wouldn't notice and that bit's going to be folded over and you wouldn't notice or I have them this way round so that they write so the writing's like that I don't know which should I do I'll do it like that actually so now what you need to do is you need to have your next lot of score lines on different sides so get my scoreboard out and you'll see what i mean in a second so this one take your this is going to be your um left hand fold out take your left hand fold out which is this one and we're going to score that oh, wrong side dave that's we want the inches side and we want to score that at three quarters of an inch so i've got a line here that tells me three quarters of an inch i'm going to score that at three quarters of an inch and then this one you don't want at the same bit because um so if this if it's this way round, because otherwise your hinge a will be on the wrong side or your paper will be the wrong way up so best thing to do is to turn it so that it is the wrong way or sorry facing the wrong way up like this and then you're going to score it there are you no still going to be the wrong way Dave. don't don't listen to me that isn't what i meant so what you need to do <laughs> is you need to turn it so that it's this way round yeah and then score it so this is now upside down to you and you score it at three quarters of an inch or you can score it at whatever the 
difference is but my brain's not working today so and then we're going to put these creases in i'm really sorry my brain's not working i've got a lot on my mind it's my mum's funeral this friday and my mind's a bit of a mess at the moment so and i'm trying to keep my mind together so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to round these corners just on the bit that it's going to attach to there just so that nothing when you're tucking something in this pocket nothing snags on that corner i'm just going to do that on all of these on those corners so these are the bits that are going to be the tabs that glue down so what you're going to have now is you're going to have this one that's going to be this side which hopefully will be the right way up which it, which it is and this one which is going to be this side which is also hopefully the right way up which it is hurrah it worked so <laughs> now what we need to do is if you put these together so that all the so they're both creases sit together um, then you'll so once you've cut once you've once you've cut them now you'll find that you've got oh I'm getting confused now I need to cut that bit out so I'll cut that bit out so everything prior to this day cut it out not everything but like so now that we have scored them what we've got is we've got a left hand one yeah and we've got a right hand one okay and all i've done is i've just put these two together and snipped the corners to be rounded okay on here and that's just so that when they're in here if you're tucking something inside it, it just doesn't catch on that corner and make it tatty okay so before we get to that stage what we've got to do is we've now got to make our policy closures before we stick it all down so let's just take that out for a minute before we stick it all down we need to make our policy closure so the policy closure bit will go here okay on the front and the back so you, if you stick these in you're just making work for yourself what we need to do is you marry them up so that they're both in the same place Okay, so the edges are both in the same place and then this is a better way this is an easier way to do it i'm going to use some um might use this cardstock i need something a bit heavier than this though i did have some so if you're making policy closures i will use these and a bit of file folder and i'm sure i've got a bit of file folder hanging around somewhere or shall I use a bit of Amazon packaging? A bit of Amazon packaging, it's always useful. So, just going to cut a bit of this out. So, I'm going to need six policy closure things. So, the six policy closures are because, let me get the prototype. You've got one on the front and one on the back. And then you've got four on the inside so these were made using this is a bit of um file folder you want something to be a bit more resilience to it and then it's just got a bit of this cardboard inside so we're going to do the same again so i was going to use that but it's, it's thick enough so we also don't want anything with a line in it i don't know if you can see that it's got a fold line in there get rid of that so these are one inch circles and we're going to cut six of these the card is not big enough for six, Dave. Got three out of that. We don't want something with a crease in, like I said. So we'll get rid of that. Let's find another piece of that card. Cut that bit off. So we're going to cut six of these out. thirsty I'm so, I think I'm gonna have to have a drink before I do anything else sorry folks so yes I don't know whether I've said but Friday's video won't be happening because at, at paying respects to my mum whose funeral I will be attending so it won't be happening 
on Friday. So I hope you'll understand and understand my reasons why. So uh, I will be down in Coventry for the day. So I think I've already said that, but I've filmed that many things today. I don't know what I'm, who I'm talking to, what I've said, what you know, what you don't know, who I am, who you are, where I live. Oh, it's all right. Luckily, I know where I live. So. so, just inking around. Now, I've, now I've inked my um, dauber down. It's uh, it's a bit darker on these ones, so I might just have to do these the same darky darkness, darkness, did, 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 nuss, did, it did, did, did. Oh, my fingers are all dirty again, covered in stuff. I'm not doing right in the middle because you're not going to see it. So, so I will do this, and then I'm just going to pause the video. Sorry. Sorry, folks. He's okay. He broke a glass. That's all. So. Anyway, so they're the bits that are the background pieces. Sorry, I just finished doing that. So don't do those enough either. And then what I like is I like to have just a different colour one on the top. And so I'm just going to use some of this. And so I'm going to cut that out of a smaller circle punch have to hand here, which I do. And I'm just going to cut six of those. So, oh, so two, three. Let me cut that edge off. Four, five, six. So, so that's our policy closure shapes that we're going to make so they're going to go together so I might just ink those so they're kind of a bit I've made those and now what we're going to do is we're just going to stick those to the middle of there okay I'm going to just because I don't actually do anything it's just so that it looks a little bit more like a I don't know I don't know whether I think it looks like more like a policy closure or not I like it, put it that way. <laughs> We're doing it because I like it, and that's good enough reason. So, I hope you heard that because I realised when I came back upstairs I hadn't put my mic back on so I, I hope you could hear me but the sound might have gone down and you've turned it back up again and now you get oh it's really loud Dave shut up <laughs> so, right these measure one inch so if I put this to the half inch guide and undo my cropper dial I should be able to put that into there eyeball it left to right and get that somewhere in the middle it'll do That'll, that's fine. So again, this one, eyeball left to right. Yep. In fact, I could put a couple of those together. This is when it all goes horribly wrong. Because then, if I get it wrong this time, it's wrong on two. Yeah. Well, it was a little bit wrong, but never mind. Not too wrong. It's wrong, but not too wrong. There we go. That's the, those other ones. So we've done those and made the policy closures, and now we need to make the holes in there. So if you line these two edges up, okay, you can just do the middle. If you want to get it right smack bang in the middle, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make a mark. And when you're making your mark, you want to make sure that this is far enough in from this edge. What you don't want to do is make a hole there because it will hang over the edge. 
So I use the edge of the ruler as to be where the hole would be. And then I move it in a little bit until I'm happy. Which I'm happy about there. And then we know that the halfway is the three and a half. So if it went there, would it look right? Yes, it would. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a mark on the three and a half mark there and then put that in my hole hole maker what's it called hole maker that's not the word no that's too thick to go through there Dave I've got I'm just trying to get the bits of gummed up paper out of there okay so I put that over the hover that over that pencil remember to get those lines lined up and the, it lined up top to bottom and then you can just do that make sure that those aren't in there otherwise you'll cut through them as well cut that hole out there we go so that'll be our policy closures for the, for the left and right and we want to do them for the top and bottom so again what you can do is you can just fold them over this way now and line that those two up and then you can put mark these so we're going to have them the same hang on how dis how big distance did we have that in there so if we have that the same on these i'm going to put that i'm going to eyeball the middle of that there and i'm going to flip that round i'm going to do the same again on that one eyeball it On there. Okay, so that one did make a hole, but it's just the waste stayed in in the middle of it. So now what we're going to need is we're going to need some paper fasteners. Is that one of the ones that should have? Oh, it is one of the ones. So let's see what we've got. So maybe do it in. We're going to need six. So three of those. That's four of those, and, and then these are a slightly different colour, so actually we'll use those on the outside. So that's fine. Put those back in there. Not going well. There we go. That's it. Cool. So now what we want to do is we want to put these together. So you have to decide which one do you want the string anchored to. So if you want the string to be anchored to the bottom one, you put the string on the bottom one, obviously. You attach the string on the bottom one, or if you want it on the top one, you have it on the top one. I'm going to have it on the top one, so that means the bottom ones don't need the string wrapped around them. So I'm just going to put that in and flatten the back out at the back. That was the best place to flatten the back out isn't it Dave except you just used the wrong fastener you idiot that's the one I said I'd use on the outside there we go put that in there try again round two so <laughs> flatten the back out on the back as we've now established that it's on the back and then we're going to do the same for this side take one of the policy circles i don't know what they're actually called they're just things flatten that out okay and then where do you want the string to be attached to on the front or the back so this is the front and then this is the back so i'm going to have it so that the string is attached to the back so that means the one on the front we can put in And then we'll just flatten those out so of course we have to cover those up we didn't in that one because that was just our mock-up one so we need to cover these up so you could cover it up with a full piece or you can just put something over it so um you we're i'm going to just put something over it i'm just going to use some of my gummed paper and i'm not gonna eat i'm even not gonna worry about it i am just gonna rip it out and I'm going to go for the whole ripped aesthetic. 
look at that bit that hasn't got any gummed paper on, so I'll get rid of that. I'm just going to stick that over there. So if you don't like this kind of like utilitarian look, then do your own thing. Sing your own kind of music. I'm not. I'm definitely not. Um, what's her name? It's from the Mamas and Papas. Mama? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to put that on there. Okay. I'm going to do one for the for this side piece. Might go for a bit more of a uniform shape on this one. Put that on there. Yep. In fact, should we round? Oh, I bet we can't round the corners. I bet this won't. I bet this won't round. I bet this will just get stuck in this. I should be very surprised if it does round. I'd be very surprised if we can actually get in the thing, to be fair. So, oh no, let's not, let's not bother, Dave. <laughs> I'm going to pop that on there. And then we can do the ones for with the string on. So, what I'm going to use is, I think I'm going to use this, which is some of my coffee dyed twine. I'm going to use about that long. But I'm going to cut them all to the same length. So I need three of them. You could of course have one where it's like one is anchored at the top and one is anchored at the bottom. One is anchored at the top and one is anchored at the bottom. That's not right, is it? One is anchored at the bottom, one is anchored at the top. That's right, Dave. I just wanted you to prove to you I do know what the, what the difference between top and bottom is. <laughs> It's like I, I, I sometimes know what left and right is. I have to do this left, left, this not left, <laughs> not left means it's right. <laughs> Nearly got rid of those. I need them. So the different coloured one is the one that we're having on the back. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that in there between the two split pin things and push it all the way down. And then I'm just going to put a bit of glue just to anchor it so that it doesn't, it's not easy to pull that string out. So once you've glued it down, you're going to have to just let it dry for a few minutes. So do the same again on the others. Push that through. Split pins are a, being a pain. Push that through. Your string between the two pins. Just open it out a little bit. Push it down. I mean, you could open it like wide out, but like a that will make it harder to get it through that hole, and also b you kind of want the the clamping of that just to act as a pair of another pair of fingers for you when you glue it down. We'll do that one as well. So this is, like I say, this is just a, an extra thing just to help stop it from just sliding straight out before you've even finished making the, the thing. Push it down. Bit of string, bit of string, bit of glue under the string. And stick it down, okay. So this one. It's dry enough now to be able to deal with it. So now we'll, what we're going to do is we're going to push it into here. Sorry, before we push it in, what we're going to do is we're going to just wrap it round once, twice, three times a lady. <laughs> no. no, Dave, no singing. So what have we said about the singing, Dave? What have we said? We need an intervention. Okay, so let's flatten that bit out. Take this time while that glue is just drying, just to shape one of these up. You better shape up, because I need some ham. Put that on there. And we're going to turn 
turn this round, make it easier to have it facing me. So again, once, twice round, push it through, flatten the back out. And I'll make a, another one of these. Uh, use a circle punch and cut and circle punch it out but I'm doing it this way because I like it oh Dave you just licked it and you haven't done that once twice do that really quickly Dave before your gummy paper dries oh, wrong way up that's it you get your finger in the gummy paper Okay, so now once we've done that, we're just going to press those down. Okay, so that's what it looks like from the back. Okay, now what we're going to do is going to open it back up again. Now's the bit where we can start putting these flaps in. So, okay, so I'm going to put that one that side and that one that side. So I'm just going to put a row of a row, a line of glue along that folded edge and then a wiggle of glue behind it and then I'm just going to put this down onto here and you want to kind of eyeball it before you commit get it like in the center top and bottom and then lined up with that edge and then just lift it up a bit so that when you glue it you can see that edge that's fine Okay, and then we'll do the same on this one. A wiggle of glue behind the line. I'm going to put that down, eyeballing again. And lift it up and just make sure that, that sits in there. And what you'll find is that these panels don't come quite to the middle and that's great because then a the person can interact and know that the stuff under there and b um it doesn't get in the way in the way of the the mechanism so let's put some pockets in it so what should we use we could use some of this couldn't we yeah so let's use some of this so what you want to do is if you're putting pockets in what you just want to make sure is that your pockets aren't any wider than the this bit and this bit measures four which we know so we need to make sure our paper doesn't measure any more than that which it doesn't it's three and a half it's handy that and we know that this is seven high so what we don't want to do is we don't want it to be well i don't want it to be halfway up so if i have it um three high then i know then it will be a shallower pocket than the whole thing is so if i do three do two at three if you don't know whether i'm explaining myself very well these days so i've had those what i mean is the pocket is shallower than the height of the thing if it was if it was too high up it would might be difficult to get things in and out of it so I'm going to line those up and I'm going to round that bottom corner. Oh, no, no, that didn't go very well, did it, Dave? That's better. And that one. Yep. And then we might put a thumb notch in the top of there. Just eyeball it. Oh, that, ow, that actually went in my eye. <laughs> and I'm just going to ink the edges of that so that you can't see the white edge. So this is a another paper pad that I have. It's not a Tim Holtz. It's by, by Craft Consortium. I just wondered. It's got 
rust patterns on it and all sorts. So I'm just going to have this with an internal pocket like this. That's going to sit in the middle of that panel. And this one's going to sit in the middle of this panel. Like that. Okay, and then what we can have is we can have a couple of pockets either side. So you could use this, which is left over. We could use those on these things. Um, shall we? And all I'm going to do is just so that I know how wide, how where to cut this. I'm just going to cheat and do a pinch, a pinch, so that I know where the middle is, and then use pencil to highlight that and just cut that down and that's the middle that we're going to cut on and I'm just going to make them slightly shorter because they are exactly the same height as that panel so I'm going to make them just a little bit shorter that way then they will fit nicely within that in fact I'll take a quarter of an inch off I'll fit nicely within here, this shape here, and we'll actually round those corners off as well. No, we want it that way around, Dave. Put it back to back, then there'll be a mirror image of each other. Like that, and then we can have those in there. Some little tuck spaces. Oh, let's ink those edges, Dave. Do that on both of those. sides with an optional wonky line you can do a straight one if you if you really want to I'll pop that in there I'm going to do this one on this side So now we've got a pocket here, and a pocket here, a pocket here, a pocket here. Okay, and then you can, of course, have pockets on these bits. So shall we do that? Shall we put something else on that? Shall we? Shall we? I don't know what we is. We, maybe. I've got oh I've got this so we could have a pocket a taller pocket maybe so these we know are um, shorter so we know that they are th um, three and three quarters of an inch so if we make them make the pockets I don't know three and a quarter should we go I'm going to use it the height that it is but we're going to go three and a quarter and do another one three and a quarter That's one. It's a bit boring, isn't it? Let's not use that one. Let's use one with a stamp on it. Three and a quarter. And again, we'll do a thumb notch. No, that's not a thumb notch. That is. The middle of it. I'm trying to get it in your eye this time, Dave. We'll do bottom corners rounded I have to close my eyes when I do this <laughs> because it's so 
stiff and I'm worried it's going to fly off into my eye. I've started to get a sty as well, which is cause because I'm run down. So, um, so I don't. I can do with nothing else going in my eye. Thanks very much. Well, I quite like the pin strut. No, I'm going to use the. I'm going to use the. Um, the stamp. All right, the edge and the thumb bit. Cool, and we'll stick those on there. Yep. Oh, completely missed that. on there. It's a nice contrast with it being a slightly different height to that one. Do the same on this one. Just remember to stick it to the flap, Dave, and not to the bit that's already open. Don't stick it there. <laughs> stick it there. Yep, yeah, like that. And that's it. So... We have made this, which is a nice little policy closure document. Obviously, you can put your documents in. I don't have anything to put in at the minute. So, you do this, you close your policy thing up. Actually, should we ink it before we finish, Dave? Make it look a bit more interesting. Make it look like it's finished, at least. Give it a fighting chance, as they say. And if you wanted to, you could round these corners, but you won't get them. You won't get them in there, but you could round them with a pair of scissors and do it yourself. You could, I say, <laughs> which means I'm not going to. But I'm just giving you some ideas. Oh, that's that's a bit dark, isn't it? edges as well and I could round I guess I could have rounded those do I want to round them when we get them in there yeah I'm gonna so it's Sunday for me today um, and I know it's you won't see this until Wednesday um, but I'm having Sunday roast today so we're having roast pork. Um, Brian is cooking it. Vic isn't here. He's not coming today because he's his day off. Days off are different this week because he's had to take different days off to be able to come to the funeral. So um, I'm just booked as compassionate leave for the day. Um, Brian is on leave anyway this week. Let's just close that up and get that spine sorted as well. Cool, so there we go. Hopefully I've done all the bits that I needed to do now. So we've got a tuck in here, a tuck in here, a pocket here, um, either side, sorry, and then they fold in. And you've got a pocket here and a pocket here. These fold up and down, up and down, down and up, up and down. And they just go around like that. This one goes around. You have to kind of train them, get a bit of muscle memory going on that first a few times. They just fold like that, and then this folds together like this, and you just. That's it, and there you go. That's our little wallet so just a nice little addition to go in a journal or some such thing or even just be a standalone thing to give to your i don't know your subscribers not your subscribers don't mean your um 
when you send happy mail and that sort of thing. So if you get happy mail from me, you might get one of these in it. You might get one of the other many billions of things that I've made that I never seem to do anything with. Um, still need to put these things on my Etsy, don't I? So anyway, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you thought that was another interesting thing to make. And um, if you did like it, you know what you need to do. You need to give it a thumbs up. You can, of course, comment. I'll be grateful of a comment. I will get a um, chance to reply. I reply to everybody. Not necessarily on the same day that you leave the message, but I do always reply to you. And um, don't forget to subscribe. And if you are new um, here, don't forget there is a 2,000 subscriber prize draw happening where you can win um, the slide box with slides in it. Um, and I'll try and remember to link the video. So anyway, thanks very much for spending some time with me. My name is Dash of Dave. I love you all, without exception, until you give me a reason not to. So don't give me a reason not to, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much, folks. Lots of love. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Lots of hugs. Arr, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.